Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. This afternoon, we're at another Packard Museum, America's Packard Museum in Dayton, Ohio. What you're looking at here is a brick building that was built in the 1930s as a used car dealership. And there's some Packards in there that are on display. Then there's a break between the buildings. And here's the main building. So this building was built back in 1917 as a Packard dealership. And that sign that you see, that was the original sign at the dealership in 1917. It came down for a while, but then was hung back up. So we're gonna go inside here Let me show you the hours that they're open. But it's always good to call ahead. So this is a museum that's dynamic. They're building a turntable right now. I was talking to Stu and it's quite a laborious project. Here's the salesman's office. Let's get into the cars. Here's a Bobtail Speedster, 1934. Here's a 34 Super 8, seven passenger touring. Here we have a 1928 Jesse Vincent Speedster. Here we have a 1940-110 Club Coupe. Over here. A 40 Super 8. 180 Club Sedan. This may have been the original work cabinet from this building. I was told that this fender was found up in the attic. New old stock. You can see some of the wrapping it's still intact for the fender. I don't know if that's cardboard. That goes to the post-war pavilion. This is kind of unique. This looks like a dealer display showcase with some products in there from the era. Some more products up on the shelf. There's a carburetor display up there, cash register. Got some accessories.
Here's a 32 twin six convertible sedan. Boy, isn't that a beautiful car. And over here, we have a 1914 model 448 runabout. Now this is amazing, 1914. The Model T had been in production for seven years. Got your mother-in-law seat back there. It's had a straight six engine, 82 horsepower, three speed sliding gear transmission, mechanical drums, brakes in the rear, 4651 new. Look at that motor. Look at that motor. Wow. So I imagine these are the original garage doors. Well, I gotta tell you, this is my favorite car in here. I just love that. So this was the service section. There's a couple of lifts in here. Here's a 34 Super 8 Club Sedan. Try to get a look at the motor on this. Here we've got a 33 eight cylinder touring. Here's a 37 12 cylinder touring. Boy, that's a beautiful car. We'll get to the other side of that in a minute. Here's a 1919 Model E, five ton truck, 40 horsepower, three speed manual transmission. Would you look at that? That's a monster. Those might be the original hard rubber tires. These are Packard's at National Cash Register, 1910 to 1915. Look at that motor. So this was the original service area. Got some fluid. Reels there, air. This was the last of the cars before the transition into the more modern look in 1935. And so I, I wanted the car of this vintage. There's another look at that 12 cylinder. This is a 24 single six touring. Here's a 1903 Model K, Gray Wolf Racer. Now this would have been the same time as the Ford Model A, Ford's first car. This was a year before the Model B.
Keep in mind, 1903. Look at the size of that break. Peek at the engine there. Look at that front end. And again, this is a, a year before the 1904, 1905 Ford Model B. $10,000 when new. James Ward Packer was a champion of large displacement single cylinder engines. And it wasn't until the arrival of Charles Smith, Schmidt to Packard that the possibility of multi-cylinder engines were considered. Schmidt took over engineering and design of Packard in 1903, and the Model K followed shortly after. The larger and more powerful Model K was a leap forward for Packard. This reached almost 78 miles an hour, placed fourth in the inaugural Vanderbilt Cup race in 1903. So compare this to a Ford Model A. Look at that front end. So here's the Super 8 and the 12 cylinder engines on stands. Boy, that's a monster. Got a military truck here. So I'm not gonna go into the post-war exhibit. If you folks are interested in seeing further, come down and visit America's Packard Museum, Dayton, Ohio. You saw the hours on the door. Call ahead, make sure they're gonna be open. That'll wrap it up for me. This is Freighter Jim, Dayton, Ohio. This is Minutes from Interstate 75 and Highway 35, worth a visit. Let's go over here and take a look and see what's in this case. Here's another salesman's desk. Now, how far away did you folks have to come from? Um, how far is that? Um, I think it said it was 30 Now, what made you come here? What made you want to come down and visit? Um, well, actually, I've been wanting something to do for the day. Okay, <laughs> and this came up? Yes. Okay. You know, it's amazing. I just got done filming. I'm filming this for uh, the internet. And there's a 1903 over there around the corner. Wow. It's amazing. It had like 10 inch drum brakes. Yeah. It's su such advancement for that time, you know? Yeah. And uh, all because a guy came to work for Packard that developed a multi-cylinder engine. Mm -hmm. But it's 24 horsepower, which is amazing back then, you know? This is a beautiful car. It's a 21 Custom 8 convertible sedan. <laughs> Back then you didn't care. <laughs> well, 
Ask the man that owned one. So there's a whole other building post for to visit. So come down here, call first. We'll wind up on this 34 Super 8 Sport Phaeton. Here's an advertising piece for it. Ask your friends who own them. This may be at least that one, Perry, correct? All right, folks. Remember, drive safe, arrive alive. This is Freighter Jim from Dayton, Ohio, from America's Packard Museum. See you soon.